Okay, so I like how you're at the left so you can get the shield bash. If people don't know you, you have to sit like right here in order to have him like basically stand still whenever he's shooting the shield bash sits and it's gonna go up and down and you could just EP him. And this is a safe EP because you're hitting eight out of 10 shots. Technically you could hit 10 shots, but it's uh, there's definitely more uh, risk factor. But he does stationary and um, you go spell, which is good. But here, what I don't like here is that you used all your mana and this doesn't really go well with like um, mana conserving. Hold on. All right, I'm back. So this doesn't go well with mana conserving because look, you're using all of your mana. Like, okay, so you use one O spell and then you use all your tablets on the stationary phase. And like, first of all, like you might be missing some tablets here, but that's not what, what I'm gonna bring up, right? Because as you can see, you have no mana now for your next phase where it does slashes and you get one O spell off. First of all, I mean, you, you could have actually just full tank that because um, I know like you have a lot of HP and I mean, you're not gonna die here for sure, trust me. So like right here, you could have, I mean, you also could have used your mana potions if you wanted to, but I personally would have done the mana conserve strat during this stationary, not use the tablet so much. Maybe use like one or two, then regen some mana, and then um, use the O spells on slashers. Because like in 2024, the meta for wizard top damage is really just using O spell and Dama spell as swap outs and like using pair spell like very rarely but other than that like i mean yeah <clears throat> so yeah right here you're missing the you're missing the what's it called the shield bash set because as you can see he resets right there like he goes from let's say you hold on Let's say he goes from the bottom to the top, because this is the bottom to the top. If you, if you weren't rotated, this is how it would be. Like So let's say he goes from the bottom to the top, then you'd have to go to the bottom. But instead you go to like his uh, top right, which is wrong, but it, it's all right. All right, not bad. I mean, yeah, just average stuff here. Also, you, your shield bash sitting from the wrong side here you're you'd get stunned but this this is still shield bash sitting but you'd get stunned because right here right he was rotating this way so that means he's looking like to the left here and not to the right so while you're and because you're still standing next to him you're still gonna like shield bash sit him and for the group this is good but you're still you're just gonna get stunned so like you're missing out on dps if you just move a few tiles to the right here and we're instead standing behind him. But in any case, he resets, so it doesn't matter. But again, right here, I mean, you're missing the shield bash again. I think what you're doing right now is just like pre peeing like, like how it used to be with um, the pre EP before it got nerfed. With like uh, panic and scream and stuff, you just like sit on the side of him, but you're not really like shield bash sitting, and it's, I mean, two weeks ago. So yeah. So this right here for fleeing is futile. You never use your O spell. It's not worth, at least, especially in pre exalted. But I do like how you went to the top. Not a lot of people know that, so I think it's necessary. After fleeing is futile, you really want to go up. After you like, I guess EP like in after exalted, you can actually pre EP. So like during this vulnerable invulnerable phase, you could actually be shooting like right here until, well, you could just constantly be shooting like as soon as he starts this like animation, you can like start shooting. So in exalted phase, it's worth to be EPing here. And even in pre-exalted, I'd say it's worth just so you can get the drag. But other than that, like I like how you went to the top because it's necessary in order to not die. Um... You're missing a bunch of superior shots. Honestly, I just use tier 14 if you're not comfortable with using, using superior and like pushing in deep. Cause like right now you're just full HP. You're not even like taking that much damage. It's 
pretty worth to just push in. Again, you're not uh, shield bash sitting well. I won't, I won't like keep repeating it, but like I'm trying to like get it down for you. Like because he went from this, the top left direction over here, you have to sit on like the top left where my cursor is, and but you're sitting a little to the top right instead. It's all good though. Yeah, right here I was gonna say because he's decoyed, you could con confidently use a superior. So yeah, it's not bad. Yep, this is good. Okay, so right there, this is pretty niche, but you see how... So you stagger him, right? And then he goes invulnerable. So what I do in this phase, in this like time frame, between his stagger and this next phase, is swap, swap back to the tier 14, and then swap back to superior and then swap back to EP just to reset my swaps that way after I EP this phase even though you can't EP it because um, of the new pre EP nerf but let's say it was a pre EP -able phase like it's easier to just swap to your superior because here right you could have swapped to superior and gotten damage and you do later but like it's better to swap to superior right after you get off and then swap to tier 14, then swapping to tier 14, and then swapping to superior. Because look at all this damage you could have had here. But then you swap to superior, and you're actually just missing out on damage because you missed a lot of superiors. So, yeah. I really recommend getting a pair spell, though. Oof. You could definitely work on your pre EPs here. I mean, you kind of swap superior when you're actually getting the hang of the EPs. It's a bit awkward. But yeah. Okay. Right there. Shield bash shits can go into, or I'm sorry, outer rotates can go into shield bash shits. So if you want, you can go to the top right of him. It's a bit risky because of the red portals, but there's actually a safe spot. Here, let me teach everyone something about this. Dance portals, right? Because I've been accused of like using auto dodge or something when I'm doing this, but like these red portals only blast like on one spot. Well, actually it doesn't look like that anymore, but like, I've had moments where I'm sitting on something in the, in the middle of these red spots. And as you can see, like when they explode, they it looks like, okay, this one explodes right here. And then the next one is going to explode like just a little down. They, it's like, I don't know, like 80%, 90% like difference. Or I mean the opposite, 10% difference of like where it was last. Um, but like basically, like for example, right here, I've had moments where you're sitting on the stagger, right? And you're actually not taking any damage right here. He's taking damage from these red portals, but like if he was, let's say right, he if the stagger was right here, he wouldn't be taking like, um, damage. Like as you can see, like there's literally just like spots here where it's just not exploding these red bombs. So that comes to the next point. Like if you're in a stagger and you see where these red portals are, like let's say you see it right here. So you could actually go to the left a little if you want and try to go for the safe spot. Because it, I mean, in the long run, it definitely helps with your uh, mana con conservation. So yeah. That was good. That was great actually. One thing I will say though, I mean, what I do personally here is resetting my camera angle and then just like either hitting W or S because these Cosmos have a set pattern, right? And as you can see, if you go down, like if you go straight down after this one explodes and you dodge these two, you'll go straight into this little middle. And this is what a lot of our all say, like in let's say Disintegrate and Dama, like you, sh you go where the portal's last shot and that's basically what you should do in uh, this phase.
because it's pretty safe. You just go down instead of getting hit by um, cause you got hit by this little guy, and it fucks up your um, in combat and your mana. I mean, you got hit by other stuff anyway there, but it doesn't matter. Right here, you should be using tier 14 because towers came up. And uh, I'll just say it once, but for shield bashes, when it comes to um, Exalted, it's going to be the opposite of what it's like pre-Exalted. You're going to want to stand in front of him instead of behind him. If you stand behind him, you're going to die. If you stand in front of him, you can AP him and hold him for a little before he stuns. And there's two things you can do when he stuns. You can either keep sitting and like drink some HP pots in order to tank the stuns. Because you might die if you just keep tanking, maybe by like pet stasis shots and stuff. But wait, what else you can do is just sit and EP for like a couple seconds and then get off. When you know he's about to stun, you really have to like learn the timing with it. But yeah, it's a pretty good phase to EP. He reset though, so it doesn't matter. But same thing, you're going to want to be like to the bottom right of him there. Because you want to be the opposite. In, in this case, like opposite where he came from, which is going to be like in front of him. This is nice though. I like how you swap to O spell here because you knew your group was going to stagger. This is good... Um, game knowledge what I will say right here though is I mean it's pretty obvious you're gonna push the celestial after all these phases so I mean you use a bunch of MP pots which you should have been using throughout the run but right here I mean you use a bunch of MP pots I would just instantly swap to tablet if I did this I probably wouldn't cause, but like if I just used a bunch of MP pots and like by, by mistake and realize that we were gonna push a celestial, just instantly swap to talent and like dump all your mana. Cause right here, look, like pushes to celestial, you have 254 mana. This could have been used on like a couple tablets, you probably would have had like 12,000 more damage here. Pretty bad celestial, but I mean, I'm guessing you're just a little washed cause I haven't seen you play a lot. But yeah, I mean right here, like should have been EPing like probably right here and then moving. It's all good though. Also, you don't have to switch it to 14 here. You could just perma use superior right here. You could just use superior. It's pretty easy. And then swapping to tier 14 right there, which is good. You did it. You could also be swapping to superior here, which is nice. Yep. Pretty good tracking. And you could be using superior here as well. One thing you want to make sure, like it's really important actually in this moment is to not get hit by this. Like it's better to just not push in um, than get hit by like one of these shots because it ruins your in combat and you're missing on like a bunch of mana that you could be having like right here. You could, you could be gaining like what 45 mana per second but instead you're getting like 45 every 7 seconds because you decided to get hit. Nice, someone's sitting here. You need to not... You're kind of messing up your swaps. I'm guessing you just got, like, discombobulated by this uh, shield bash shit, which, I mean, nowadays you actually see it pretty often because this is the one right after Celestial. And l let me show you something right here. As you can see, he's going to rotate his final time, and then he's going to go up like that, right? And then he's going to do a little circle, and then boom, he sits down. And, like, automatically... This is for every single Celestial. This is just like, let's go to the first phase actually. So here, let's memorize this timestamp, 246. So let's go to the first very start of the phase. Like, everyone sits on the left of him because you know that he's facing to the right. And it's automatically, if he shield bash sits, you could sit on the left of him. No matter what, this is just completely safe EP. This is, if he does shield bash sits, you're fine. There's nothing that can hurt you right here in this moment. And that is the same exact thing with um, this shield bash shit. Because every single time after Celestial, he's going to go, like, to the top. Like, right here, look. Look at him, look at him. He's standing, till, standing still, and then he goes up. I don't even know why he does that. But he, but he's just 
like that. He, ju he just likes to go up here. I don't know why. But he goes up, and that means that you can sit on top of him in order for the shield bash. And that's exactly what someone here is doing. And I mean, this kind of just confuses you. You pull out an EP, you pull out an O spell. It's fine. Nice, you got this shield bash shit. Well, I mean, you got the cancel, I meant, but you could have gotten the, the shit. Honestly, this is just personal preference, but I'd probably zoom in on my map just to see where he's going, because, like, right here, like, you can't really tell where he's going to go and stuff. But if you look at your map, you can tell, like, if the boss is next to a, like, little yellow marker, which is one of your guys, like, your teammates, you'll see that he can go to the right or the left. Right here, you got dragged to the left, so it's fine. But yeah, here I also like, what I like here is that you didn't go for the cancel. Because you knew that you wouldn't be able to get it. Like, if you ran up, you wouldn't have been able to actually cancel him because it was too late. So I like how you just stood still because you anticipated him TPing to you. And then you pull out your O spell, which is really good. Uh, right here, I'd just be full taking. I mean, look at you. You're just taking all the damage anyway. You could just be full taking instead. Doing a lot of damage, but... Like, see, you're just taking all those sickens. And you're not even getting any EPs worth from it. This is good. Nice, good cancel. You can do some better swapping there. Nice, yeah. I, I dodged a pet stasis shot there too. Especially since you knew that it was going to be the end of the phase. That was actually really good game knowledge. And like, um... Like, so you, so you know that the Cosmos phase is like a couple seconds long, you know? So you back up right when that pet stasis shot goes instead of keep, like, being there for damage or, like, being able to cancel it, which is nice because, like, you're not pet stasis... And even though you do get hit by some of these Cosmo shots, so you, you're still in combat, it's definitely still better than uh, not having the mana at all from the pet stasis. Nice. That was good. <clears throat> All right, I'd uh, I'd give this guy a competent O three for sure. Yeah, that was a good run. Yeah, what I'd say the most is I just think you're a little washed, and you could work on like your aim because I think I've seen better from you. So yeah, other than that, like yeah, just just your aim, especially on like celestial, just like a little more on the tracking. I went to the wrong side like right here like you just need to work on some aim here but it's fine everything else was good game knowledge was good right here just a little fuck up but yeah see you later